Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Bosco, the Bosco on YouTube channel. Today I'm here to review my Ant Miner S9 by Bitmain and talk about Bitcoin mining overall and the probability. everyone welcome to the boss coin channel and my latest upload on cryptocurrency boss coins a crypto channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it or really just if you watched it anyway you know what i'm saying but let's talk let's talk bitcoin let's talk ant miner s9 let's talk mining profitability all that stuff so last three months you can see bitcoin was freaking killing it in december and we kind of been on a downtrend since then but guess what's not on a downtrend the bitcoin mining difficulty i've got a video on the channel if you just come over here and go to the search bar and search uh, difficulty then you'll get that video I'll also have in the description to make it a little bit easier for you but I go over difficulty and how that affects you in that video today is all about reviewing the Antminer S9 this is Bitmain's greatest uh, Bitcoin miner SHA-256 and it's been killing it for really years and with that a lot of people are speculating that we're gonna have a new model coming soon I don't know but what I do know is that they've released a lot of miners recently. And specifically, they've got the 13 tera hash version for sale right now. But let's talk specs. If you don't already know, your hash rate is, you know, these numbers right here. 13, 13 and a half tera hash. Most Antminer S9s are the 13 and a half tera hash versions. And with that, their power consumption will go up a little bit accordingly. But essentially, more tera hash, the more efficient it is, at least with this model lineup. So you can see we're going to pull about 1300 watts. That's a pretty heavy pull, especially if you're running this on US residential 120 volt electric. But with their supplied uh, power supply, the APW3++, you will be able to successfully, barely, run this on 120 volts. So basically it works. How's mine been doing? Well, my personal Antminer S9 has been doing great. I got it in, if we look at this difficulty chart, I got it around here in December, I ordered it, and then it was a January batch, but I actually got it at the end of December. And uh, since then, you know, I've been mining, haven't had a single problem with it. So let's log into the Antminer S9. On that topic, the Antminer S9, you only log into it remotely through your browser. So you're gonna log into your router. Easiest way is just to log into your router, look at the devices connected to it, and it'll say Antminer. You grab that IP address, copy and paste it in your browser, and then it'll bring you to a page where it says, hey, you wanna log in? And you're gonna put root as your uh, login, and then root as your password and you'll be in. Well, you click over here to minor status and this is what you're gonna end up with. You can see how long I've had the ant miner up. I moved it to get a better shot with the intro video that you saw, but otherwise it's uptime was like, I don't know, like 10 days or something. Thing just runs and runs and runs. But you can see my uh, hash rate right now, 13 and a half tera hash pretty much. My average, 13 and a half tera hash. And you can see uh, these are the pools I have uh, loaded in here. In addition to that, down here you'll see, uh, you know, Basically, there's three hash boards in here. There's you know, one, two, three, and it's gonna tell us the relevant temperatures there, hardware errors. If you get a bunch of hardware errors, you've got some kind of problem going on, you overclocked it too much, the miner's too hot. Uh, this is a pretty average temperature to see, you know, somewhere around 70 Celsius. Uh, I mean, really, you could probably run these not 80 Celsius and be fine for a while. Um, obviously, the cooler, the better, and uh, everything's at your own risk. If you're wondering about connecting your Antminer to a pool, it's going to vary on the pool. For example, right now, I'm mining Digibyte, and I'll get to that in a second, instead of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, whatever. And there's really like only one good option to do that, and that's with the Blocks Factory. So this is their login. It's just S1, theblocksfactory.com. Then that's your port number, 9001. That's my username. That's my worker name. Password, they said put anything, so I put anything. Makes sense, right? And then if I wanted to mine Bitcoin, I've had great success mining Bitcoin on Slush Pool. This is what their login looks like. I mean, every pool is going to be a little bit different, but this Slush Pool login is what a more traditional uh, login looks like, you know, with the Stratum TCP and so forth. The port's 3333. That's, uh, this is another pool where you have to have a uh, username. So, you know, I log in, I create a username, Voscoin. I create a worker name, I just called it Vosk. My password, they said put anything, so you know, being me, I just put anything again. And uh, in my dashboard, in that mining pool is where I put my wallet address, and that's how I get my payouts. But setting up your uh, Antminer S9 is seriously that simple. So if I was gonna rate this Antminer S9 as, you know, a good miner, absolutely, this thing is rock solid. Do I like ASIC miners? The answer would be no, but you're like, well then why are you reviewing an ASIC miner, Bosk? Well, it's simple, man. I'm a cryptocurrency channel with a big mining focus, so I'm gonna review every miner I can get my hands on. I don't care if it's an ASIC miner. That's a whole nother debate, and I'm not here to preach about that in this video. Today's video is about reviewing the Antminer S9. And the Antminer S9 does everything that it's supposed to do. It it's great. It's, I've never had one problem with it. 
Even with Bitmain, a lot of people complain about Bitmain for 27 different reasons. I ordered a miner and they shipped it early. A lot of these other companies, they ship your stuff late. So, I mean, as far as customer service, I got what I ordered early. I can't really be mad there. And no, they didn't pay me for this video. They never paid me anything. The, all they did for me once was share my L3 Plus review on their Twitter and Facebook page. That's all they've ever done for me. Quite honestly, I feel underappreciated. All this review work for nothing. Let's go to what to mine. And if you're not familiar, what's mine.com is a profitability uh, mining calculator, a mining profitability calculator. And it's preloaded with an S9. Um, it's a little bit higher, but anyway, we'll just run with that. Simple enough. It's going to be close enough. And I hit calculate, and this is what it gets me. You know, it shows Bitcoin as being the best coin to mine right now. Uh, oftentimes, that trades back and forth with Bitcoin Cash. You'll see the discrepancy here it is not very large. We got some other uh, coins over here. Uh, for example, I mine a Digibyte. There's been some times where it has been the most profitable coin. And a lot of times where it's a nod and you're like, well, dude, why don't you just mine Bitcoin and trade into it or whatever, whatever. I'm just doing an experiment, man. I think Digibyte's a cool coin, so I wanted to, uh, you know, acquire some. Uh, this is what the block factories look like. You can see my hash rate over here, you know, what I'm, what I'm getting. Basically what my hash rate there I get is what I'm going to get credited for. You can see my earnings pretty relatively stable over here. I mean, there's good days, bad day. That's the day, so it's not done yet. Um, I don't know what the deal with that day was, but you can see in the last 24 hours, I mined 305 Digibyte. What does that translate to? Well, you know, after, before we factor any kind of electric cost, which is kind of a heavy electric cost, uh, you can see in the last 24 hours with Digibyte tanking. Nice, boss. <laughs> Looks like you know what you're doing. We're watching your review, and clearly you're mining the best coin. Not. Uh, obviously, we should totally listen to you because you're mining the coin that's tanking. Way to go. Okay. Hey, man. I'm just trying new things, right? Mining Bitcoin like everyone else, it gets a little boring. And this wasn't down 10% until like 30 minutes ago when I was like, all right, going to do my video. But anyway, I digress. Eight and a half or eight, eight dollars, 73 cents per watt to mine. That's a little bit lower than I'm supposed to earn. Let me hit calculate. Whoa. Wow. Bitcoin just fell off a cliff. $9,500. Um, looks like, uh, wow. I know I'm supposed to be doing a video here, but between when I started shooting this video and now, Bitcoin's dropped like $10,000. Um, not to motivate you or unmotivate you to get an minor S9, but I'm a pretty transparent dude, and uh, that's what just happened. I don't care if you guys buy the freaking ant miners or not, but speaking of that, I will have links in the description. Uh, you know, these are on Amazon. I'm not the seller or anything. I'm just giving you guys a realistic option to get these. Uh, you can order from Bitmain. They accept Bitcoin Cash and USD wire transfers last time I checked, which is recently. And then on Amazon, they're about $3,000 shipped with the power supply, and you can use a credit card. So, you know, I'm not recommending them. I'm actually kind of recommending against them. But if you want to do it, then there's your option. Other than that, guys, I mean, that's all there really is to it. The Ant Miner S9 is absolutely a good miner, and the rumors are that Bitmain made more money than NVIDIA last year. What? That's what they said. So, anyway, you know, they've got this S9, they've got the T9 Plus. They've got the V9. Uh, you know, this is all going to come down to your electric cost. For the just average user, if you really like want to get an ant miner, you're determined, then I would just get the ant miner S9. It's the biggest, it's the baddest, it's the most notable. It'll be the easiest to resell. A lot of people search, you know, buy ant miner S9. Not a lot of people search buy ant miner T9 Plus or the V9. That's a newer one. These are really geared towards like setting up some kind of farm with a low electric cost because these are power hogs. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to keep it as short and sweet as I can. If you head over to the channel, I've reviewed all kinds of miners here. You know, I've got the D3. I got the L3 Plus. I got the A3. I got the freaking Bico Miner. I mean, I got it all, baby. I got it all. Come to the Vibes Coin channel and I got it all. But most importantly of all, I've got GPU mining builds. Now, that's where the good stuff is. <laughs> so without... Me dragging on and on, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, like button. I'll see you all next time.